Welcome Virgo to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 2nd of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. The Sun and Mars are joined in the sign of Libra by Mercury transitioning from your sign where it has been for 10 weeks. This occurs on Thursday. What will this mean? Well, some of the ideas that you've been generating over that 10 week period and with the assistance of Mars from the 10th of July, more recently the Sun, may have not quite gained the traction that you wanted, but they can do from this week because Mercury moving into the sign of Libra helps you to start to articulate your ideas in a way that starts to see tangible results, something that's always important to an earth sign like you. So I feel that Mercury moving into Libra obviously is very good for conversation. It is good for sharing ideas, good for finding a balance. The second house can be about your sense of self-worth, your attitude to values, but also your appreciation of the good things in life. And with Mars in the mix linking to Venus in your 12th house, a guilty pleasure may be something that you find very hard to resist this week. Are you going to splash out on something? Or is there somebody who's starting to show more and more interest in you, but so far it's been quite low key or perhaps strictly confidential between you both. If you recall Virgo, on the 17th of July, the North Node arrived back in the sign of Aries for the first time in 17 years. But since then, it's been in a tense right angle with Pluto. Pluto's in the part of your situation that's to do with passion, romance, self-expression, having fun. But Pluto is a lot to do with power. And the right angle with the North Node could have been flagging up some issues around power in certain relationships. Now, it's natural to at times feel a little bit pushed out or perhaps a little insecure if a relationship isn't quite working as smoothly as it could. But if issues to do with jealousy or manipulation or control are caught up in a relationship a little bit too frequently, that can be more of a, a problem. And Mars pushes forwards this week to interject that a right angle between the node and Pluto. So we have an opposition with the north node, a square with Pluto. So Mars in your second house can be very much to do with desire and also instant gratification in a way. So if there's something you want or someone you want, particularly with Pluto in the fifth house, that right angle between Mars and Pluto can give you the push, the drive, uh, the impetus to step up your own energies to obtain what you want. But in an existing relationship, the complexities can come from that eight house position of the North Node. So it's possible you might start in a longer term relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could just be one where there tends to be a bit of politics attached to it. You could find yourself that the uh, issues that maybe have been building up since the late uh, part of July really can manifest in a much more potent way. And that could lead to a very, uh, a very powerful conversation, a big attraction. You may find yourself uh, wanting to get intimate with somebody or wanting to break away from something that isn't working or articulate where you're unhappy. And that could happen in a long-standing relationship because with Venus having been in the sign of Leo since the 5th of June, your 12th house, which can be to do with um, deeper strands in relationships, which are not very obvious. Venus is actually in a tense angle with Pluto too this week. So ironically, Venus and Mars are on great form together, but individually, they're not in a great angle to Pluto. So if there has been uh, any leverage applied, guilt trips, all this kind of stuff in a close, intense relationship. I feel the politics of all of that can come into the open in a much more powerful way. And just be aware too, of course, with Saturn still in a retrograde in your seventh house of relating, that is a sector of your situation which suggests there may be some lessons to be learned or some 
new approaches to be developed around boundaries and understanding your relationships in greater depth. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd be honoured if you would like, comment or subscribe. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of a unique opportunity, year 2023 is speeding by, year 2024 is racing towards us. If you order your year 2024 personal horoscope forecast now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of year 23 free of charge, but you'll also get the whole of 24, plus in my special package of 30 percent off your character analysis report your life roadmap which will help you to uh, understand the patterns that have played out in your life so far and gain a much more intimate understanding of how to work with the energies that you were born with and each chart is totally unique to the person i prepare it for please see the link below for more information <music>